Right. Right. It's an emergency. If it isn't now, it soon will be. Oh, you of little fate. We've got three jobs to do. It's amazing how quickly word gets round that we're about. I'm always surprised how long it takes. Right. You pack the tools, and I want the largest of my three mallets. Well, what are you waiting for? Chop, chop. Chop, chop? You want an axe as well? Chop, chop means get a move on. Oh. On second thoughts, you better bring an axe. You never know. Welcome to another programme in the series, Wish They Weren't Here. The show that looks at the good, the bad and the ugly of local tradesmen, whoever and wherever they might be. So what's this emergency then? Oh, simple plumbing job. It's what we in the trade call a cessation of the hydraulic flow control. Oh, sounds serious. What's it mean? Tap's not working. What we did was arrange for some work to be done at 21 Mableton Crescent. And at 3 Lilac Close, and then last but not least, here at number one Desmond Avenue. So where are we going? Well, firstly, one Desmond Avenue, then three Lilac Close, and then 21 Mableton Crescent. And, as always, we set up our secret cameras in each different location so we could record everything that went on. We're going to be busy. That's right. But it's better to be busy. You know what they say. Oh, no, not you two again. Not that. Devil makes work for idle hands. I thought you took the hindmost. That as well. Come on, follow me. Can I go first for a change? Now all we had to do was wait. Hello. 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 I believe you're expecting us. Well, I'm expecting somebody. Uh, you are? That's right. What was right? We are. Paul and Barry Chuckle. Nothing too big or too small. Except Barry and he's borderline. Now, what seems to be the problem? Uh, well, well, there's no water, but I'd like to see your credentials before you start, please. No water, you say? What do you think, Barry? I think, therefore, I am. Me too. Anyway, did you remember to fill the kettle before the water went off? Uh, uh, no. Why? <sighs> it's just that we like a cup of tea while we're working. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no need to apologise. It's a cafe on the corner. If needs must, we'll go down there. First things first. To the kitchen, Barry. Ah, yes. See what the problem is here? What's that? The tap. There's no water in it. The question is, why? I ask myself that question a lot. Yes, well, no problem. We'll soon have this sorted for you. Great. Well, I'll leave you to it, then. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Are you? Um, look, I've got some things to do. Are you sure you're going to be OK on your own? We're not on our own. There's two of us. Right. <laughs> um, I'll be off. Yeah, oh, door, Barry. I can see it is. No manners. Oh, sorry. Have a nice day. Uh, thank you. Uh, you. You too. Thank you. Well, I think it's just blocked. Here, give it a blow. Give it a blow yourself. Just do it, I'm thinking. <sighs> oh. oh. And so far, neither of them has thought to check if the water's turned on. Meanwhile, over at Lilac Close, we set up a rather stickier problem. Nothing wrong with this front door. But with the simple addition of a piece of chewing gum, it becomes one of those oh-so-annoying sticking doors. But will our so-called experts be able to spot the problem? Says the keys will be under the plant pot. Here. Oh. There they are. Oh, good. They're very trusting, aren't they? What happens if it's a thief about? Don't be silly. Who'd want to pinch a plant pot? No, I mean, they... forget it. What's up with this place? Says the front door won't open. Here, give me a hand. Give me a good push. Right. Ready? One, two, three. Go! Oh! Time to look away to house number three. People say you're better off with tradesmen you know. Not necessarily. New drive. Sounds simple enough. Measure it up, Barry. Right. 
What are you doing? Measuring the drive. They said they want a new drive. You're measuring the old one. Let's have a look. I think we'll put the new drive, um, about here. Yes, that'll do. Well, if you're sure. Of course. I blame the builders for this, you know. Of course you do. Obviously used unseasoned timbers when they built the house. Unseasoned timbers? Yes. What's unseasoned timbers? Wood that's not old enough. Well, it's not going to get any older, is it? No. What are you going to do? Straightforward enough. Just trim a bit off. Come on, let's get the tools. seem to be thinking things through, which is more than can be said for Lilac Close, where they've decided they need to take the door off. Saw. Are you? No, 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 saw. I'll get you some cream. Not saw, saw, see? Oh, see saw. I need a saw to saw the door. To what? Saw the door. So did I, but how are you going to do it? <laughs> Just a minute, aren't you forgetting something? No. You haven't measured it. I don't need to. It's a standard size. Not the saw, the door. <laughs> I was just about to do that. Hey. We haven't got a tape measure. Typical. Never mind. We'll have to use the traditional method. The... Paul? No, oh, careful. You lead the way. Get something to mark it with. Right. Mark it up. Perfect. That's the width. Now for the length. Aren't you going to double check first? No need. We're using the traditional method as used by the ancient Egyptians when they built the Great Wall of China. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, you can do this one. All right. I can't reach. I'll do the top bit. Okay. Got it? I've got it. Right, come on then. Turn around. Steady. That's it. Careful how you're going. Okay, I'm ready. What are you doing there? Hold me head. That's it. Right, come on this way. I've got careful. it. I've got it. That's it. Through here. Okay, steady. Oh, steady. steady. There we go. Oh, oh careful. Careful what you're to doing. Me. To me. That's it. Come on. That's way. Yeah, okay. Right, put it down then. Got it. That's it. Perfect. Mark it up. Okay. Yes. Now then, so. I'll go and get you some more cream. Don't start that again. Give me the saw. There you go. Thank you. It's blunt. <laughs> Are you sure it'll fit? Yes, it's foolproof. But is it chuckle-proof? Let's see how things are going with the drive. Yes, yes, that's right. Tarmac. All sorted. You're ordering tarmac? No, 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 no. I was saying thanks to the man at the DIY shop. His name's Mac. Oh, good. For a minute, I thought you were going to put tarmac on the flower beds. No. <laughs> Gravel. in the tank. Hmm. What? Shh, I'm thinking. Oh dear, not again. You'd think they'd learn their lesson. There. That stopped it sticking. Is it supposed to look like this? Hmm. Perhaps we measured in metric and the door's in feet and inches. Yes, that'll most likely be it, yes. But well, what we're gonna do? We'll have to get another door. From where? We'll have to improvise. Go get me a chisel. 
Now let's see how they're getting on at Desmond Avenue. Now this is the simplest of jobs and should take an expert about two seconds to sort out. Let's see how they're getting on. How long have we been here, Barry? About two and a half hours. Hmm, not bad. Hang on, what are you going to do with that? Simple. I'm not. Well, there's obviously a blockage somewhere in the pipes, so I'm going to unfasten them all, right? No! Here, oh dear. Isn't it a bit on the thick side? I'm assuming he's talking about the gravel. It'll flatten down with use. If you say so. How are they going to get the cars in? Old roadmaker's trick. There. Have you got any more of that? We could do with some wood for the door. No, it's the only wood I could get hold of. I suppose it'll have to do. Needs must, Barry, needs must. I think I'll order some more gravel. So, to recap, we set up cameras in three different houses and then, by sheer luck, the same tradesman turned up to do all three jobs. And having now seen the standard of their workmanship, I decided it was time to pay them a surprise visit. I'm sure that's the wrong way around. Nonsense. What exactly are you doing? Uh, uh, hang on, I'll ask. Paul, what exactly are we doing? What do you mean, what exactly are we... Oh, hello. Rest assured, madam, everything's going fine. We've taken the whole system apart. And put it back together again. Don't you worry. We'll see you in your bath before the evening's out. You will not. You are the most incompetent workman I've ever seen. Oh, thank you very much. We'll use that on our letterheads, Barry. Incompetent is useless, Paul. You're right, it's a long word and we've only got little leaflets. The only thing that's wrong here is that the stock got is turned off. Uh, are you in the trade? Look. <laughs> I don't think I have ever seen such shoddy, slipshod ranch out work in my entire life. Ah, oh, well, it's easy to criticise. It may be of interest to you two to learn that we have been secretly filming you all day long. You haven't. We have. You, you haven't. haven't. We have. Have, have you? you? Look! <laughs> That's our filming van. Right there. It's very nice. Oh, we've got footage of all of it. You ruined the door at Lilac Close. It was only stuck with chewing gum. And as for the gravel drive... Ah, well, I've got news for you on that. I don't want to hear it. You two are going to be reported to the authorities. Come on. She seemed a bit upset. Yes. Never mind. Fancy a cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. Who was on the phone? The gravel people. They want to know where to deliver to. Where did you say? I think I know. All in all, not a bad day's work, really. Hey, how did you figure that out? We pummeled the petunias at Mabelton Crescent, we demolished the door at Lilac Close, and at Desmond Avenue, we pebble dashed the presenter's Pantechnican. Ah, oh, yes, well, there is that. But we won her over in the end. Remember what she said? She said she'd let everyone know all about us. What better publicity can you get? Er, uh, Paul, I don't think... Ah, uh, yes, I know, but don't worry. Leave the thinking to me. That's how we got to where we are today, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps we measured in metric and the doors in feet and inches. Yes, that'll be it, yes. Get answer that, answer will that, you? I'll answer, answer it. Hello? Oh! I fixed it. <laughs>